hello welcome all welcome in another important video i hope you all are doing great in this video we will learn how we can visualize our docker swarm okay so currently as you can see we have a very simple and minimalistic setup we have one manager and one worker node in our docker swarm but in a real life scenario specifically if you are working on big project so in that case you will have multiple containers okay and containers number can easily go up to 100 and thousands so to manage and to see which container is running and which container stop working it will become really hard to identify that so for that purpose we will need one visualizer which will display current status of our docker swarm in graphical format okay so let's see how we can integrate that visualizer in our project okay so currently we have two manager nodes uh, we have currently we have two nodes one is manager one is worker node and currently we have two services running in our docker swarm so we want to visualize that okay so for that purpose there is one open source project which name is docker swarm visualizer and you can see 3.1k people already already found this helpful so we will also try to use this visualizer in our project so as you can see in in the description you will see some screenshots so this, so this so this is how the visualizer will look like so let's go ahead and clone this link let's go ahead and clone this code okay so in our in our manager i'll go ahead and run this git clone command so if you don't know how to paste link just press shift insert and it will paste and let's clone this okay so now we have a code let me list out all the available files so as you can see we have one folder in our root folder let's go inside let's change our directory okay and we have this code so in order to start this visualizer we'll have to use one docker compose command and we have to run this in detached mode that's why i will put hyphen d my bad it's my it's a typo as soon as you execute docker compose up command it will start executing visualizer so it will it will take some time wait until that okay so now command executed successfully so as soon as this command will get executed successfully you will see port number 8080 is exposed and available to access so let's click on this and you will see visualizer of and you will see graphical user interface of your swarm network okay so currently we have one manager which is this one and then we have one worker node which is this one okay and we have two containers running in our swarm network one is on manager and one is on worker node let's go in our worker node and let's cross verify this so i will use container ls command so currently as you can see we have one nginx container running in our worker so this is what it is showing up here if I add new node, it will show up here. Let me try to do that. Let me create new instance. Okay, currently this worker node will, currently this node will not show in this list because this node is not a part of our swarm network. But let me use docker join command. So we, first of all, we will need docker join command. So we will need join token of worker okay so we have this command let me copy this and let me go back to the node which we have just created and let me paste it here let's execute so as you can see this node is now a part of our swarm network and if i go back here you will see we've just added node one in our docker swarm so this is how it works data in a real time 
so which is really helpful this will reduce your lot of headache you can see the information in a graphical format i hope you found this video helpful thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye